My beautiful Sapix, today I want to put you guys into a new movie called The Almond and the Seahorse. Good morning. Hi, okay. Uh... <laughs> uh. <sighs> okay, <laughs> can you get me a towel? The movie follows two couples. Both of them are dealing with a partner who has severe memory loss. That is the painful challenge facing Sarah and Tony. Don't you need to pause and inhale like us lesser mortals? Oh, no. <laughs> Scary, isn't it? I have excellent breath, breath control. I can actually go on for hours if I need to. I can just pump out words. Just... When Sarah and Tony meet, there is a certain tenderness to their first exchange. From that moment, their relationship jumps to an awkward morning after and then a getting-to-know-you montage, complete with walks on the beach and dinner moments. Gwen and I love coming here. What? Too soon? Oh, you fucker! <laughs> oh, you had me there! <laughs> Honestly, it is only when Sarah and Tony meet for the first time an hour in does the film allow a genuine conversation and gratefully a moment of recognition. It'll kill you, you know. Which is why I like to smoke alone and in silence. You know, some things require full awareness and concentration. I've never been one for small talk either. Do not be nice to me. I wouldn't dream of that. As the movie moves on, Sarah and Tony realize they have more in common than what they originally thought. Uh, uh, look, okay, I'm clearly not used to doing this, um, so I'm just going to have a shower and I will be out of your life. So I guess giving comfort is a crime. Oh, I've never heard it called that before. But that's what we did. We comforted each other. The main characters, they don't meet until about an hour into the film, but they fall into bed within minutes. Ah, uh, yeah, ah, uh, okay, yep, yeah. that's what I was, comfort. No, you were much, much more than that. If Sarah, an heterosexual character, feels in any way in particular about her sudden sexual awakening, the film does not show it in any way. Although their stories are sincere, the dialogue and the scenes are a bit tedious. The drama is predictable, and in all honesty, the movie is flat as fuck. Honestly, a cast of characters this good deserve better. You're not him. I know. It's just, we're not very good at this, are we? Well, I've tried. What do we have to do to make it work? Forget. I want a future. I don't want to give you any major spoilers, but equally, I'm not so sure I would actually recommend the movie.